Good morning, this is Miss Cameron. Welcome to our first Year 11 Assembly for 2021. I hope you had a restful Christmas break and as positive a start to the new year as possible. I did not think I would be sat here um, doing a voiceover for another assembly, but as we know, we are currently working from home as a school. Um, and I wanted to address the elephant in the room first. We all would have seen the new rules that have come out and a lot of attention, particularly for our year group, would have gone on to this rule. The fact that we've been told that end of year exams will not take place this summer as normal. Now, before we give up hope and we decide that this means exams aren't happening, I'm going to draw your attention to the word normal. Now, that's very different from last year's announcement. That's not the same as saying there will not be exams. So I know you have many questions and as a year group, we played the what if game in assembly when we returned to school. And the big what if question we had um, was what if your mock results are your final results? So I know that's something that's playing on a lot of your minds at the moment. And my honest answer is just that we don't know. Um, and so this assembly, I'm going to do my best to help you focus on the things that we do currently know. We do know that we were fortunate enough to sit one round of mocks this academic year. Other schools haven't been so fortunate and to really don't know how they're getting on or what gaps they have in their learning. Whereas your teachers know exactly what topics you still need to improve on and what's left to be covered. So they'll be using this time to make sure that you are covering the rest of the content and building on the topics that they know you don't quite know as well at the moment. You've also already demonstrated how great you can be at home learning. We were the most engaged year group last year and there was some great feedback from your teachers about your work ethic and your email etiquette. We have all done this before as well. So your teachers are better prepared to teach you from home and you are also better prepared to learn effectively. I also know, having had lots of conversations with so many of you, and so many of you having met Mr. Rao already this year, that you all have aspirations for life beyond this academic year. As stressful as this all is, and as many questions as we all have, the skills and knowledge that you are going to develop throughout this academic year, you will still need at sixth form or college or beyond. So giving up right now and not engaging with your learning is not going to help you in the long run. This time around, we're not going to be setting any homework. So there is a huge chunk of time that you have to work independently using all of the stickability skills that we've practiced. Because like I said, regardless of what happens this year and how you are assessed, at some point in September or beyond, you will be in a place where you're going to need the skills that we are embedding in you at the moment. Finally, and this is the most important one, I think, regardless of what happens this year, the grade you get does not define you. You owe it to your future self to use this time to be the best version of you possible. The best version of you possible is not you in your bed, not engaging with your work or playing video games or not seeking help when you need help. So please remember that there are so many people who are able and willing to help you. Just reach out if you need to. So your school day this time is going to look a lot different to last time. You are expected to attend tutor time, which we've moved to the morning for everybody. So that will start at 8.30. All lessons every day for the entire lesson with a 20 minute break as normal at 10.30 and a lunch break um, from 12.30 to 1.20. Remember, it's a shorter lunch break on a Friday, though. Fail to attend will mean that you will not pick up an attendance mark for that lesson and your teachers will be taking accurate registers for both tutor and all of your lessons. Please note there is not a tutor time in the afternoon, so it's just the morning tutor that we're expecting you to attend. To make things easier for you, you don't have to do anything to get to your lessons. Um, you, what your teachers have done, have set up all your lessons in the calendar. So when you log into Microsoft Teams, however you do that, if you click calendar on the left hand side, you will then start to see all of your lessons in your calendar in the times that they are meant to be there. All you will need to do is click calendar and click the join button for any particular lesson. Now, engagement is important and you're expected to engage in two times and lessons in the following ways. We will ask you to have your camera on, uh, particularly at the start of the lesson, that will be to greet everybody. And then depending on the subject, your teacher perhaps might ask you to angle your camera at your work 
so they can watch you complete your work and offer feedback and advice. Um, so please make sure your cameras are on. You also are expected to answer in the chat when asked, and depending on your teacher, this might be a case of you unmuting to answer as well. And you will be required to submit all your independent work for each lesson. Your teacher will give you very clear guidance on what that submission looks like. For ease, a lot of that will just be on Teams, um, which we've practiced and we've done when you've uploaded your homework, um, but they will make that very clear for you. At all times, you're expected to follow these five rules. So please, please, please be mindful of your tone time plat um, to place on chat, on camera, on the mic. Um, we are a very respectful year group and I don't want our standards to slip just because we're not in the school environment. As I mentioned, reminder, when you start a lesson, make sure your camera is on and your mic is off unless you're specifically told otherwise. Fully participate the same way you would in class. So follow all instructions, complete all tasks, make sure you are asking and answering questions. And what's been really good, I know a couple of you had to work from home whilst you're isolating, seeing you participate in the chat alongside the class has been really powerful. So please, please make sure that you are engaging fully. The C system does continue for any disruption or defiance. What I will bring your attention back to is this is difficult for everybody and your teachers are doing their best, and um, particularly today as well, to prepare all of your lessons in a format that is accessible for you at home. So please, a reminder, we are a polite and respectful year group. Be mindful of your conduct, um, particularly if you are doing something to disturb the learning of others or not follow instructions. And as I said before, make sure you are handing in your work in Teams, following the guidance that your teachers give you. As I mentioned, you are at home, so the C system can't work in the same way it normally does. You will, though, receive warnings if necessary. I don't expect it to be case in year 11, but just so you are aware, we can remove you from the lesson if necessary. And if that takes place, you will end up having to have a phone call from me um, and that being something that is escalated. I do not want to hear of any year 11s having to be removed from lessons. We are all here to learn and to do our best. And that's all that I expect from you. As I said, there are consequences though. So if you are someone not attending lessons or leaving your lessons partway through or being disruptive or not completing your independent tasks, um, there is the option for us to ask you to come into school and complete your work under supervision so that you can be successful. At the end of the day, we only want what is best for you. And if that is not you working at home, which for the vast majority of us, we know that's a difficult thing to do anyway, we are arranging facilities to be able to do so in school. We also will be calling students personally to support engagement, whether that be your tutors, myself, or members of SLT. And obviously we want those phone calls to be supportive and more to offer guidance, but if they have to also be to discipline you, that will also be the case as well. What we don't wanna do, particularly one with you being your 11s and also with your, a lot of your parents still working, we don't want to be phoning them daily to say that you are not doing what you need to do. So we will do our best to contact you personally to make sure that you have all the tools you need to be successful. Now, some of you might be sat there still thinking, why does this matter? What I'm gonna remind you of is the fact that we still don't know what's happening, not only just with the exams, but also with the rest of this academic year. We do know though, that every single moment affects your future. And all students this time around are learning online across the country. These are the people that you're gonna be competing for places for at sixth form, at college, at university, for jobs. And the universities and employers are not gonna use this period of time as an excuse for low grades. You owe it to yourself to give yourself the best possible life chances. And education is the best way to have as many choices as possible as an adult. So I need you to fully engage with this period of time and make sure you're seeking out help if you need to. With that all in mind, there are some things I need you to do today to make sure this is a successful period for us all. Firstly, set up your study space. Like I said, we have all done the working from home thing before now. Where are you going to learn best? What worked and what didn't work last time around? Make sure your device is set up with Teams ready to go. Obviously, we've been using Teams for homework since September. So we should be a lot happier with having that set up already at home. But if you're not, please drop me an email so that I can support. 
Equally, some of you um, have been allocated a device. If um, you receive a text and you still haven't picked up your device, please make sure you get into school today before four with the completed paperwork to collect one. If you are someone who is at home who um, is struggling with their device or Wi-Fi, please email me so that we can see if there's anything we can do to support. Your school day finishes at three. And like I said, there isn't any homework this time around. Make sure you schedule in something that's going to be your happy thing to do in the afternoon. And what was great last lockdown was hearing from you guys as the new skills you're developing or the books you were reading. Please make sure you schedule your something in that's going to make you happy every afternoon. And stay connected. Like I know this time around, Things will feel a bit different because you will have the online lessons. You will be in a virtual classroom and see your classmates. But please make sure you're staying in touch with friends, with family to make sure you're doing OK during this time. To end this assembly, I just wanted to remind you guys of some of the amazing things um, that you guys got up to last lockdown. From learning new instruments to baking to drawing to uploading beautiful videos for me on YouTube. You guys engage with so much that was more than just your learning. So really make sure, like I said, you're using this time to be the best version of yourself. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay kind.